as a kid growing up watching all you know Formula One, British Touring Car, Rally Car Championships. It's uh, every, every boy's dream to jump in a car and, and give it a race around a track. I'm here today to experience what it's like to be in a British Touring Car and seeing what it's like to feel the force of what these guys can do at the top of their level. My brother and my dad are the big racing nuts and they always take the mickey out of me saying that I'm not the best driver but I'd like to think I can hold my own and hopefully I can prove them wrong today and post a good time. You can tell he's a rugby player, he doesn't lack commitment, put it that way, he's <laughs> really on maximum attack from the end of the pit lane. I thought I'd give it a go and, and really try and push the car to the limits and I'm glad that Gordon thought that I did that. It's the sheer grip that we generate from the slick tyre which is incredible. Yeah. When you drive a normal car and your reaction is to sort of take your foot off the accelerator a little bit when you mm. feel the car starting to grip the road and you were like no just trust the tyre, trust the tyre and accelerate through mm. and it was uh, yeah, quite an experience. Yeah it's, it's a little bit different from a road tyre. <laughs> I think i got a future. We have three races in a day so if you have a great result in the first race, your tail's up, everything's going great but you could easily then have a terrible result in race two and you've still got to be able to refocus the mind. Yeah to get going again. Same races. sort of like missing a tackle or missing a kick or something like that in a game of rugby, you've got to sort of wipe mm. it from the memory bank and get back on with the game because you've got you know, 70 minutes or 60 minutes to put it right. You can't control what's happening around you sometimes. And the same on a rugby field, you know, you've got to read what your teammates are doing next to you, what lines they're running or what defences are coming at you or where the space is on the rugby field. And it's exactly the same as the driver, you know, he's got to see what the guys are doing to the left and the right of him, behind him, in front of him, and he's got to make sure that he makes the right decision to execute the move he's trying to pull off. You can see the competitive spirit is there from the outset, and that's absolutely spot on. <laughs> I had a great time out there, obviously a little bit shaky to start off with, but then trusting Gordon and what he had to say, I managed to get a little bit out of it and uh, really test those wheels out and test the car out. When you see the cars, they're a serious bit of kit, you know, they're stripped out very light, so 80% of the weight is in the front of the car and the engine, the rest of it's stripped out and it's all done for maximum performance, and so getting to sit in it and seeing what it's like to drive a version of that was, was pretty epic.